Food Fest and live shows. The Knott's Boysenberry Festival happening right now at Knott's Berry Farm. <gasps> Doors are open, yay. Independence Hall is open for business, folks. How's it going, everybody? Sean Allen here. Welcome back for another vlog from right here at Knott's Berry Farm. As you can see, I've traveled back in time. Yes, I've asked Doc Brown if I could use his DeLorean time machine for just a moment. Went back in time once again to 1776, and directly behind me is, of course, Independence Hall. I love this building, it is so cool. Brings back a lot of memories of when I was a kid, checking this place out and seeing their special audio show that they have inside. Thankfully today, it's open. Last time I was here, it was closed for whatever reason. So <laughs> we're going to go inside Independence Hall once again. Okay, it's, it's modern day, it's 2024, I'm sorry, just kidding. <laughs> All right guys, here we go. Okay, the doors are locked here, but they're open on the other side, so we're gonna go there. Woo, there goes Ghost Rider. Not Ghost Rider, the Spirit of Vengeance, I meant Ghost Rider, the roller coaster. I wonder if anybody gets that roller coaster confused with Ghost Rider, the Marvel character from Marvel Knights, because, I mean, it's same name, but completely different, completely different. Oh, I see the Liberty Bell. Here we are, we're here. So this is it. This is where all of the action happened, right here. Okay, well, it's a replication, but still. This is also where they have the audio drama of the Declaration of Independence. And I don't know if they're able to do the audio track now. I don't know if it's in operation, but back in the day, they would have this all full of guests, and they would run like a 15-minute audio drama show. It's almost like listening to a radio drama right here in Independence Hall and the speaker, his chair would light up like it is right now, but uh, the different areas where the different like people were like Benjamin Franklin and some of the other really big delegates in here, their candles would light up. It's either the candles or their, their, um, their feathers or they, the quill and pin cool and ink areas, they, that, their areas will all light up to determine and show you where they were all seated. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Again, I don't know if they'll be able to do it today, but I would like to be able to hear it again. Again, this is a replica of Independence Hall, but just imagine what really happened in the actual Independence Hall in this very room. The conflict between the U.S. and Great Britain, only it wasn't called the U.S. back then, it was called the colonies, the 13 colonies. 1776. Yeah, so this is it. A storm in Philadelphia. This is the the audio drama. Sign and sound of experience design to remind you of our American heritage and honor the memory of those 56 brave men who signed the Declaration of Independence. Right there. There's a painting of Walter Knott right there by Paul and Elizabeth Wise. There's actually a photograph of him in front of Independence Hall. We have some artifacts here. Oh, look at this. Colonial currency. Signed by James Wilson, who signed the Declaration of Independence. Look at that. And also Francis Hopkinson. Hopkins, Hopkins, John Morton. Wow. Oh, wow. First coinage used by authority of the United States. Here's one of the red coats, or British red coat. Musk is a replica of the model 1777 Brown Bass. I wonder if that's the same one that I've got because I have a replica of a Revolutionary War rifle. Because it also has a bayonet too. It might be the same one. Porcelain sculpture. That is amazing, look at that. They used to have a machine in here of dancing, or not dancing, but marching soldiers in this spot, but it's doesn't look like it's no longer here. Must have 
Must be, must be broken. Oh wow, look at that. see the full video go and check out the link in the description box below because the full drama I put in the entire video I just gave you little samples of it oh, man. that is so good the superb job by the actors but most importantly what a day several days weeks during the time when they were creating the Declaration of Independence. Very, very brave man. Wow. It's an amazing painting. Wow. I don't know about you guys, but I get very emotional when I stop by here to Independence Hall. It doesn't matter if I'm here with family or friends, I have to make a stop here because A, not only is it a historical landmark, but it really means a lot for our nation's history. And also because Walter Nott himself helped in the creation of this building. I remember many years ago when I was a kid, I was like maybe eight or nine years old, maybe like in middle school I'd say, we took a trip here to Knott's Berry Farm. We were originally going to go into the park. The only issue was that it was partially raining, but also we didn't go into the park. We spent a whole day right here in this building. I used to have a small tape recorder. I recorded the whole show. Of course, it was a mini cassette and it broke, unfortunately. And I was just going through YouTube one day and I was trying to figure out if they have any footage of the audio drama. There's not that many videos, guys. And where can you get a high definition video of that broadcast? 
right here on this channel. Again, if you want to see the video, go and check out the link in the description box below because that was one of my main goals today. Not only to go to the Boysenberry Festival, but to also head inside here because this is one of my personal favorite places here at Knott's Berry Farm. Yes, I know about the Rock Garden and the Down by the Old Mill Stream and the George Washington Fireplace, but this crushes that. If they still had the the berry farm, the berry patch, the berry patch, <laughs> I meant the, the berry stand, if they still had that, I would have freaked out. But of course, they tore down the berry stand because they had to make way for the Silver Bullet roller coaster. No, that's not the bullet. That's the that's the Ghost Rider roller coaster that you hear in the background. A lot of people were very upset because you know it was a historical landmark, the Berry Stand. This building, my God! Like, look at the size of this thing. This is just amazing, and it's absolutely free. You don't even have to go into the park for this. It is free. It's open daily. Minus the one time when I was here, maybe they were under refurbishment or something, but I was here. It's open basically every day, minus Christmas, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And if you ever hear at Knott's Berry Farm, just take a tour, like what you just witnessed me doing right here. Also, as you guys know, I like to do Minecraft. <laughs> I'm trying to do a replication of my own of Independence Hall. So I'm taking a lot of pictures of this place so I can create my own Independence Hall on Minecraft. That's gonna be quite a challenge. I've built all sorts of things. I've built Noah's Ark. I've built um, Hogwarts. I've built Hogsmeade. I've built all sorts of stuff. I'm actually building Springfield right now because I have my own world survival mode, by the way, not creative mode, but I'm planning on building an Independence Hall on Minecraft. That's gonna be quite a challenge. I already have a ton of clay that can create all the bricks and all. This is gonna be a lot of bricks. <laughs> I'm always in awe whenever I come here to Knott's Berry Farm, especially now, since I've done a lot of historical like speeches and all that about this place. This really is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. 